Come on, Em. You ready? Come on. Piggy wants her brekkie. Hey? Piggy wants the brekkie. Oh, it's a mess down here. If you could see the ones I've had to go through to get this camera to work, you're currently propped up on top of a protein water tub and a parcel I need to send back. Probably a good idea actually, because I'll forget to send it back otherwise. I honestly cannot wait for spring so that these mornings kind of go away. Like, it's so dark. I woke up at seven. It's currently like quarter past eight or something. And it's still really dark. And I hate it. So you're starting a protest now, aren't you? Yeah, come on now. Is the piggy hungry? Hey, are you hungry? Yeah. Okay, right, it's food. Food time. Right, because it's still really dull outside, I, I mean, you can't really tell from the camera here because I've got the ISO turned up. However, it is very dull and a bit gloomy and a bit depressing. So I'm gonna go and get changed because we're gonna do the food shop and a couple of other little bits today around the house and take the recycling out because if you can see that massive pile of crap there. Yeah. So I'm gonna go get changed, take that out and then hopefully it'll be all right. So the, the, the weather's picked up a little bit. It is still very gray outside, but it's obviously a lot brighter than it was. Um, so I figured I'd just like film a little bit of me getting ready because I have this new foundation. As you can see, the, the Laura <laughs> the Laura Mercier Real Flawless Weightless Perfecting Foundation. Long ass name, like could we not have done something else? But this has been going like really viral recently and I kind of wanted to give it a go. Um, see what it's like because usually I either don't wear foundation, I will just use my... Um, Hollywood Flawless Filter, which you would have seen in my favourites video, or I wear the Beautiful Skin Foundation. But I figured I'd give this a go because it's meant to be quite high coverage. It's like medium buildable and looked really good on camera. Very pricey, not gonna lie. Probably about as expensive as this was. Is that or is that not a pretty good shade match? So yeah, I'm quite happy with the shade match, but let's um, see how it applies. And you may be thinking to yourself, Steph, you're literally going to do the food shop and you're gonna be in the house all day. Why in the hell are you doing your makeup? Um, you know, I'm, I'm filming some content today and I just wanted to look a little bit put together. And also, there's nothing wrong with just wanting to get ready for the day. I rarely do it and I feel like that's one of the things that's like getting me stuck in a rut a lot of the time is because when we don't have plans or whatever I just sit in my pyjamas and my hoodie all day and I don't really do anything. However, now that I'm back to filming and stuff I'm like, you know, I want to make a bit more of an effort. That is lashes curled. I want to see if I can get away with just mascara today. Normally when I do my makeup, I like to put lashes on as well. Do not explain to me why there's always one lash, like one eye that goes right and then the other one likes to be the problem child. Like why? The other side is just so thick. Oh, so that will have to do. I'm gonna have to start on my fringe again because putting that band on is like, cause this situation, however. Makeup is done. I'm just gonna put a bit of fussy lip gloss on. I'm just gonna do my hair, tidy this mess, go downstairs. I need to film a video before we go because it's something very exciting. But you will see what that is on my shorts because I don't, I don't want to reveal it on here. People are gonna watch the vlog and then they won't then watch the other stuff. So unfortunately, you will have to follow me or make sure you're following me to find out what that was. One short filmed, the recycling has been taken out. Breakfast. Now, 
Usually I would have like protein porridge because I've been trying to like be really good with tracking and things like that. Um, but today, I don't know, I'm just feeling a bit of cereal. I just want something quick. However, to try and get my protein in, I had this very dangerous thought of making my iced coffee as I normally would. I figured I could probably mix in some of the protein powder that I have with the milk. Because I was watching a video last night on, I think it was Reels. It's probably from TikTok. But this girl decided to make almost like a protein frappuccino where she mixed all the ingredients um, she would for a frappuccino, but instead of just using normal milk, she mixed in the protein powder or like a protein shake with it. And I was like, genius. Coffee and syrup secured. Ice. Again, another one for the shopping list. Uh, I'm just gonna measure it out into this shaker cup and then 10 grams of this. I'm kind of hoping this tastes like, like an iced mocha. We'll see. Just a little bit in and get the lid on. Yes! Chocolate brownie protein iced coffee. Let's see how it tastes. I'm just gonna give it, give it a quick mix. Ooh. That actually does taste like a like a mocha iced coffee. You don't like it? Mm. Oh. I think it's not sweet enough. Not sweet enough? Mm. I put I put hazelnut syrup and there's protein powder in it. Actually, no, I've had the aftertaste to see here. Hmm, I was a bit worried, but it's actually quite nice. I might have these more often. Hey, that's actually pretty good. So it's got 162 calories and then 12 grams of protein. Luna, <laughs> there are no treats in there. The treats are over here. Oh, she's so sweet. <laughs> oh, the, um, the office is a bit of a mess at the moment. As you can see, there's still all the lush stuff there, but I promise that is on the agenda this weekend because we've got a few bits we need to do. The whole point of this vlog is to be able to have like a nice, cozy weekend so we're going to do some fun stuff finally get some shit organized <laughs> after the new year and things like that so food shop today filming some short videos which you'll see if you follow me on instagram and so cooking dinner i might attempt to tidy up things in the bedroom like reset the bedroom and stuff like that and um, we've decided we're going to make like cookies this weekend because we haven't made them for a while they're our recipe we've kind of adapted a recipe that we found online and it's just, it is absolute perfection. I need to put away all of this stuff and I've bought some really awesome glass jars because the idea in my head was that I was going to organize all of the bath bombs and things like that and then put them in jars because I don't want them getting damp. I also don't want to leave them in these bags because it's taking up space in the office and I can't really use it properly, it's a bit chaotic. And I'll just have them on the windowsill in the bathroom. So they'll look pretty, but they'll also serve a purpose in that I can use them then for the bath. And I might even treat myself to a bubble bath. But yeah, anyway, let's just carry on. <laughs> Food shop done. We bought some stuff which is pretty much all this back. Babe, just watch Luna. We have to watch Luna because the last few times we've let her out and attended, she yeeted herself over the fence and tried to escape. There's still a couple of bits we want to get, but we've got most of that today, so that is kind of why the food shop was a lot more than we expect it to be. Lunch. Oh, I'm starving, I haven't eaten yet. So, we're having these frankfurters, eggies, and crumpets. Does anybody want to buy a demon child? Because this one is an absolute nutcase. Look at them! 
X are uh, almost done. <laughs> Luna just got scared by the toaster. <laughs> oh, Bubby. And like that, lunch is served. Doesn't look like much, but it tastes amazing. So yeah, I'm gonna go eat this now, and then it'll be time to tackle the bedroom, I think, and then start making my soup before we get ready to have dinner, and then I need to do some editing. It's very, very busy today, but it does mean that I can then chill a bit more tomorrow, so I've gotta keep that in mind. So making my way upstairs now to tackle the bedroom, yeah. think because of how long this is going to take it's probably a better idea that I do this as a time lapse so commencing time lapse in three two one Whew, okay so that was a lot now for you, that was like 15 seconds. However, for me, that was like 20 minutes. I'm happy to say things are clear. We have left this, this basket that I'm not really sure what to do with. And we have a bag of rubbish. And then this monstrosity, let me just show you. That is literally full of chocolate. And now you'll be able to see. <gasps> Wait, is that is that what I think it is? Is that my Amazon parcel? Wait, is it definitely for me? Yeah, it is. <laughs> it was my cup. Did ask for one of these for Christmas. However, there was a lot on my Christmas list, and I purposely put loads on there so people have choice, but also so that I could just buy whatever was left on it after Christmas. And this was one of those things. Definitely now will get my water intake up. Because I did have like a huge cup. Well, it was like a bottle, really. And I don't know, it just did meh. It was a bit meh. But this, I feel like that bitch right now with that. So, yeah. Merry Christmas to me. Right, okay. So, we've tidied the bedroom now. However, the office has seen better days. But this is what we're working with now in the bedroom. So, all nice and neat, that pumpkin pillow, cushion, whatever you want to call it, I am obsessed with. But yeah, <sighs> bedroom is tidy. So these are the jars I wanted to get um, to fill with the bath bombs. So this is kind of where they're going to sit in the bathroom, just like on there. Oh my God, I... <clears throat> jars. Are okay. Starting with, mm, I'll start with the pads. Put the pads in. Put, and then maybe this one. So let's put them there, like the sleepy time one. You there just to mix things up a little bit. You, oh, the black ones are a bit, because I don't want it to ruin anything, but we'll see, we'll see. So that's one job done. Okay, right, let's get on with this then. So bubble bars, let's put you there like that, because I'll probably store it from the front. You go there, and the gingerbread man can go down like that. No, it's done. Right, I'm gonna attempt to carry these to the bathroom. How cute is that? Look at that! Oh my god, that is so sweet. So we have all the bath bombs and stuff in here. Unknowingly, the side where I put the bubble wand, where I wanted that to be, this um, this poor little jack o' lantern was um, 
damaged in the process. So we've had a couple of casualties. At least it wasn't the um, the snow fairy or the groovy fairy ones. But we'll have like the little gingerbread dude there. And then we've got the little polar bear that looks like he's going for a swim. And all the pink and the lumps of coal, which I'm really looking forward to. The sleepy time bath bomb. I'm just, oh, I'm in love with this. They just look so cute. Have them front and center. So now I feel like I can use the bathroom as a place to relax because I have my bath pillow, little bath tray, and there's like a space here for a drink. I can prop my tablet on my phone there. A little space for a candle. You should pop that there, like that. I'm not getting in the bath just yet, but does that or does that, oh. <laughs> Did that or did that not look really relaxing? Obviously once I've stuck it on properly it'll be better, but oh, I'm so excited. Do you remember the, the little tub before that I showed you guys that I was like, oh, I got it in part of a Christmas hamper, but I wasn't sure what to do with it. Stroke genius, okay. This was all the stuff that was left in those bags, like all the shower gels, shower jellies, lip balms, like body sprays soap, all that kind of good stuff. Um, so I've transferred what was in this to here. So that is all of my like um, overspill of lush stuff that I'm hoping to get through this year, as well as the bath bombs. And then this is just my little um, self care kit, I guess. So we've got like some deep sleep pillow spray, which I probably should move to the bedroom, but then all like my cotton pads, um, spare razor heads, my brow laminating stuff, um, micellar water, eye makeup remover, I sold a Gennaro cream, which should realistically be at the top. I mean, it's pretty enough to be. And then just all of my um, wristband and headband stuff. And a little microfiber scrunchie. Jamie got me these as sets for Christmas actually. So it came with a scrunchie and then the headband um, and then these cute little wristbands. But for now, I think I'm just gonna chill out, um, take down bits of rubbish and like get rid of this pile of stuff, put this away, try and maybe tidy some of this. So yeah, I'm just gonna chill out for a bit, I think, um, edit some footage, cook some dinner, and then probably just sign off for the day because it has been a long day already i mean what time is it now it's three o'clock it feels like it's so much later because <laughs> i've been up since like half seven this morning and done nothing but run around all day um i'll maybe be back to cook some dinner tonight we're having pasta al forno but if not i'm signing off and i will see you tomorrow maybe Oh, someone's moody today. Come on. I'm coming. Do you want your break here or not? Yeah, I thought so. Lena. I tried this yesterday just on putting it on with the brush and it lasted really well so I wanted to try it again but without my e.l.f. power grip primer because the finish was really nice but I don't know whether it was because I had that primer underneath yeah we'll see we'll see how we get on with it It's probably easier to just get a nose job than sit here contouring every time, but definitely need a new one of these soon. Thinking today I might do um, lashes instead of mascara because I can just put lashes on a lot quicker.
one and two see that took me all of like a minute now hair let's go get some breakfast So we're on the brownie iced protein coffee again, aren't we, Luna? We're just having a chill out on the windowsill. Good morning. Um, I feel like I've not really spoke as of yet, apart from when I was getting ready. Um, it's still the morning, so that's good. We're having a productive day, aren't we, Evie? I spent a bit of the morning um, finishing editing the rest of yesterday's footage and starting the thumbnail. Still got a couple of bits to shoot for that. Um, and then we'll kind of just like take you through the day. So the agenda for today, we're making cookies, which I'm very excited about. Then maybe like chill out, play with the girls for a little bit. And then I'm gonna film a little bit more today, um, just so that I'm ahead. Cause it's, it's, it's hard work, isn't it? When you, <laughs> when you work another job and then you do like content creation on the side, it's really hard. Like literally my whole entire weekend just get taken up by content creation. However, I do enjoy it, so I am gonna keep it up. It's making me feel productive. It's making me feel like I have a bit of a purpose. So I'm not gonna complain about it. I actually really enjoy it. But lots of content stuff this weekend. Um, and then later on, just gonna have a little bit of a chill out. We'll cook dinner. And then I might even treat myself to a bubble bath. I'll try and put a bit of that footage in, but I'm very hyper aware that I need to film and then finish editing what I'm filming now into the video so that you guys get it today. So yeah, finish my protein coffee, bake cookies, make dinner, play with the girls, have a bubble bath, edit this video, upload and chill. Cheers. Hello. <laughs> Hi cutie. Should we go downstairs? Hey, should we go down? Good girl. Bubba? Should we make cookies? Yeah. yeah. Well, Jamie finishes his game of FIFA. I will get everything out. Okay, so if we say use... So what is it, 180 in total, so divide that by three? Let's check in there. That's 246. I can't be bothered taking a gram out. Oh! <laughs> it's alright, as long as the biggest lumps are out, it doesn't matter, just no. check it in. This is what we're working with right now. It looks very bitty and crumbly. However, now we just form it into balls yep. and then freezer. stick it in the freezer. So cookies are in the freezer. We've like double bagged them because we tend to have one each. So we have eight cookies overall. And now I'm trying to time this right. So I want to have a bubble bath, but the chicken takes, what is it? Like an hour and 35 minutes. I could technically have a bubble bath when, um, when the chicken goes in and it's quite early at the moment. I might leave it like an hour and then we might be able to time having dinner when the football starts. I didn't want to be there trying to cut chicken during the game. You're not going to be. Such we will a... have dinner ready for when the football starts. So you can sit and eat your dinner at whilst you're watching the football. Okay. That's what I meant. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, so I'll probably leave it about an hour then grab a bubble bath 
and then we can sort out dinner and stuff, have a cookie, and then I'm probably just gonna sign off because it's gonna take me a while to edit this footage. So this next hour now is gonna be me scrambling to get this footage together. So there we go. Dinner is served. I'm so looking forward to these potatoes. Now, gonna eat dinner, watch a little bit of the football, and then have a bath because I didn't do it earlier. Now, it's which one of these do I put in? Okay, this one I think. So makeup's off, hair is in a bun, and I am ready to have a bath. Because Evie's just been sick. I'm hoping she's gonna be okay. Very stressed, need a bath, and a cookie, and hopefully my cat is okay. And relax. I don't think you wanna go in there, Bubba. <laughs> hey? You definitely don't wanna go in there. You hate the shower and the bath. There she is. Ooh. <laughs> Baby. So she was sick a second time, which is a bit annoying. However, she seems to be okay right now. She's not showing any of the symptoms, so we're thinking she's gonna be okay. Just need to keep an eye on her. But, yeah. Hopefully that's it, because I really do not fancy a trip to the emergency yet. On a more positive note, Jamie put the cookies in the oven while I was in the bath, and um, so this is what they're looking like now. I think, yep, yeah. I'd say they're pretty good to go. Try and break it on the camera. No, there's nothing in the middle, however, that looks beautiful. Ready? Mm. So cookie has been eaten. Dear Lord, that coat actually scared the life out of me then. <laughs> At the corner of my eye, it looked like somebody was stood in the bathroom. That's a better angle. I mean, not for me, I look like a potato right now. I do have hair, I promise. Um, yeah, eating my cookie. I'm gonna finish tidying up and stuff because there's like washing and things that need putting away. I also need to finish editing this vlog. So right now I'm gonna sign out. So thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it and I hope you're having a lovely weekend or have had a lovely weekend, no matter what you've been up to, but I'm gonna love you and leave you and see you in the next one. And don't forget to subscribe as well. It really helps. Bye.